As we mentioned, Morgan County is one of five school districts getting ready for tomorrow's first day of the new school year, and safety is their top priority as well. Yeah, joining us right now live via Zoom, Patrick Peterson, Morgan County Schools Director of Secondary Education, Patterson, that is. Mr. Patterson, good morning. Good morning, Pat. When we see some districts in our region that have just opened up, I already seeing some positive cases. How much does that weigh on you as you folks prepare to open schools safely in Morgan County? Well, it's obviously a concern for all of us. Um, I would remind people that, you know, that life is, is still going on for all of us. So they need to remember that, you know, just because school is starting doesn't mean that our pandemic has ended. So, you know, when they get out and about and, and they, they go around, they need to continue uh, to practice sort of those you know, social distancing and wearing a mask and uh, and and good hygiene, but for us, uh, we're gonna we will be practicing all of those things in our schools, uh, all the way from on the bus with our our sanitation stations, uh, assigned seats so that we know where where kids are in case there are uh, positive outbreaks. We will be watching for um, you know when when they come to school, taking temperatures. They will have areas where we can isolate kids and. And you know, keep and keep a check on them when uh, symptoms do begin. Uh, but we are we're we're very concerned about our kids. Nothing is more important than uh, than that safety. And I would just encourage parents to to exercise flexibility with us, and uh, just give us a chance to to exercise uh, what we do best, and that's keep kids safe. Mr. Patterson, if you could expand on that a little bit, given the nature of mm -hmm. the virus, there's likely going to be positive cases. Can you address what happens with those cases, especially in regards to children returning home if they end up showing symptoms during the school day and the potential for them to spread it at home or out in their neighborhoods? Well, first of all, Marie, the, the, uh, the first thing, of course, is, is every case is just a little bit different as far as, you know, where it was uh, where it was discovered, what, what, what time of day, and those circumstances. So we would encourage parents to, to work with us and just avoid panic. You know, a, a lot of times kids, you know, when they, when they see the, the, their, their buddy who's sitting next to them, they go to the, you know, to the nurse and they find out, oh, he's sick. Well, now all of a sudden I'm sick. And oh my gosh, now we're all sick. And, you know, mm -hmm. that's, not, that's not the case. It, you know, it, it, it doesn't spread like that. So I would encourage parents to just take a breath and, and remember, you know, this is our first time too. You know, none of us have, have dealt with this previously. So just give us a chance. Uh, each of those cases are, are, will be dealt with on a case by case situation and instructions will be sent home to, to parents uh, as far as to how to monitor those, those symptoms and what steps to take and how to return to school. I know we want to talk about education a little bit as well. Uh, the three learning platforms in place out there. Not every household is alike, but each platform does address various levels of concern that parents might have out there, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, talk us through some of those, please. Okay, so first of all, uh, Morgan County Schools, we're going to have a, approximately only 22 of our students uh, district wide will, will seek the virtual option where you know, they'll be enrolling in, in ed options or in Calvert Learning. So that means that the far vast majority of our kids will, will, will be on two platforms, either traditional or remote, being the remote option is supported by, by Schoology and by Schools PLP. So their teacher will actually be a Morgan County Schools teacher. And that, that excites us to the, to the point of we know that, that we can support our students uh, all the way through, even you know, you can download lessons to your Chromebook, for example. We're at, we are a one-to-one a -one district, so our students will all have uh, Chromebooks. Our K-2 students will each have an iPad. So lessons can be downloaded. Uh, it's not always an issue of, of uh, well, you know, I don't, I don't have internet service, for example, or, you know, the, 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 the Wi-Fi is terrible out here in mm -hmm. our community. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's, it's not a live situation like, like we are right now. So these lessons can be pre-recorded. They can be downloaded and, and, and you can work through that process. So um, it'll be a lot easier than, than what people may may think on the front end. Uh, and I would just encourage everyone to give us a chance. We'll be about 65% uh, on campus face-to-face -face and around 34% um, 
remote. 6535. Okay, yes. okay. And we'll keep bringing you back on talking a lot more because we have plenty of uh, questions and I know parents have a lot of questions to ask as well. But Patrick Patterson, Morgan County Schools Director of Secondary Education, thank you again for joining us this morning. Thank you. All right, we sure appreciate you. Time now, 6.13 on your Tuesday morning. We want to remind you that Way 31 is your back to school.